Hi everyone, this is a lesson on something called scientific notation. So the first two pages of your study guide here, uh, you're going to have to take notes. And then once this is done, you're going to have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then you can see how I did at the end. Alright, so first things first, what exactly is scientific notation? Alright, and scientific notation is a way of writing really large and small numbers. Alright, so it's a way of writing large and small numbers. Large and small numbers. All right. And scientific, scientific notation has a certain structure to it. And that's what this is right here, where I'm putting a check mark next to. All right. It's A times 10 to the B power. And the way it works is the A value has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. All right. So again, greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And then the B value has to be an integer. So here's some examples. Uh, 3.5 times 10 to the third power. Notice the 3.5 is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And in this case, the B value is the, the 3. And this next example, 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. Well, our A value is 1.2 because it's greater than or equal to 1. And our B value is 5. And last, we have 5.68. That's going to be our A value. And then the B value, this time, is a negative 4. All right, so here's some examples. Let's say we have uh, the number 45,000. And we want to write this okay, in, in scientific notation. But right now, 45,000 is written in something called standard form. All right? So remember, the key thing is we have to have an A value and then times 10 to the B value. All right? Now, for our A value, we're going to put a decimal point between the 4 and the 5, making it 4.5. So it's going to be 4.5 times 10. Now, the question is 10 to the what power? And here, think about it. If we have a decimal point here, to go from this to this, we're going to need to multiply it by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So it's going to be 4.5 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, example number two. We have 186,000. All right, now the A value for this one is going to be 1.86 times 10 to the, now again, if the decimal is right here, we're going to move over one, two, three, four, five spots. So every time we move it over one decimal point, we're going to have to multiply by 10. So that's going to be 1.86 times 10 to the fifth power. All right, example, example number three, we have a decimal. And again, just like the other ones, our A values have to be between uh, greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So that's going to make that a 3.6 times... But this time, we're moving decimal one, two spots to the left. And every time we do that, we're dividing by 10. So that's going to be 10 to the negative second power. Notice these have positive powers, and this one has a negative power. All right, last but not least, now we're going to take a number that's written in scientific notation and put it back in standard form. All right, so here we have 2.8 times 10 to the fifth power. So for this one, we're going to have 2.8, but we're going to multiply the 2.8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we need to move this decimal point five spots to the right. So I'm going to add some zeros. And now we can move it five spots to the right. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there it is. So our answer is going to equal 280,000. So 2.8 times 10 to the fifth is equal to 280,000 in standard form. All right, last number five, we have 3.56 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So this time we're going to take the 3.56 and we're going to divide it by 10 four times. And remember, every single time you move the decimal one spot to the left, you're dividing by 10. All right, so here 
I'm going to move, I'm going to actually rewrite the problem as 3.56. And I'm going to move this decimal four spots to the left. So there's one, but I need to add some zeros. So one, two, three, and four. So it's going to be 0 0.000, 000 three, five, and six, written in standard form. All right, so I want you to do, I want you to try the problems on the next page. It's titled Your Turn Now. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these problems. Okay, so the first part, you had to identify which of these are written in scientific notation. Okay, and so remember, it's the A value times 10 to the B power. And remember, this A value has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. All right, so if you notice this first problem, 35.2 times 10 to the fifth, this right here doesn't work, right? So that is not written in, written in scientific notation. The next one, 4.99 times 10 to the eighth is. And this one here also, 5.01 times 10 to the eleventh also is written in scientific notation. All right, the next part, you had to convert each of the expressions into scientific notation. So this one should have been 3.65 times 10 to the fifth power. This one should have been 5.64 times 10 to the negative second power. And then the last two problems, you had to convert the problems from scientific notation to standard form. So this one, we have 2.45 times 10 to the fifth. So we need to multiply by 10 five times. So this one should have been 245 and then three zeros added to it. So it'd be 245,000. And this one, we need to divide by 10 three times. So this one should have been 0 0.003243. All right, how'd you do?